Like ribbons unfurling. This feels, um, I feel really emotional right now. Super vulnerable. One is the filming. I feel a little vulnerable there. But the other thing is just, you know, um, you know, post fire. My life is. I'm at this crossroads in my life. Sometimes I turn the canvas all around every which way. I don't know if that becomes confusing because then I don't know which way is up. By the time I'm done, I'll throw it up on the easel, put it vertical and move it around and realize, oh, I painted it this way, but oh, actually it's supposed to be viewed you know, 90 degrees or 180 or 275 degrees from what I thought was the bottom. Wow. Look at these images that are inside this painting that I wasn't even aware of. What's in there if I just, what'll come out? if I just let it come out. If I don't think of flowers or a garden or trying to make it realistic, I'm more letting the, letting the symbols come out. on their own. If I don't have to think about it and try, or when I don't think about it and don't try, and then I'm done with the painting and I put it up and I look at it and I go, wow. <laughs> and I like, I like that part of it, of being amazed, being surprised. That's so pure. And someone who went to school said, oh, you should never use black. You don't use black. So I decided to just use black and white. I'm liking where this is going. This is interesting. It's almost like a hand coming up here and another hand behind there. There must be old masters rolling in their graves right now. Or maybe one of them saying, wow, that's kind of cool. Wish I would have thought of that. <laughs> that looks more fun than, you know, the other stuff. It is fun. And I don't like it when people say, well, I'm not an artist. Oh, you're an artist. I wish I could be an artist. I'm not an artist. And I think, hmm, you're not? But art is so much just not painting or drawing. Some people are 
Some people can make a home look so beautiful. That's art. I don't know. Might be getting too philosophical here. I um, went and saw a friend of mine's and I brought, I had one of my paintings in my car and I wanted to show her. She's an artist too. Anyway, she looked at my painting and I showed her and she was like, well, perhaps you might want to put a focal point in there. I'm like, hmm. Yeah, people talk to me about focal points. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. Somebody said to me, well, you have to learn the rules before you can break them. And I was like, why? <laughs> why go through all that work? <laughs> what are the rules? I guess they meant, you know, I don't know. I don't really know what they meant. Perspective, technique. Sarah's got that sign. Can I just get it? I'll just read it to you. It says out there, art, art should comfort the disturbed and disturb the comfortable. Hi. You know, the cl closest I come to staying in the present moment is when I'm doing this. You know, there's no... I got it just when I was working here. I was reminded to say that because... It was like, oh, all I'm doing is doing this right now. I'm here right now. I'm not worrying about the future or angsting over the past. And that's. That's the best therapy, huh? Yep, there was a fire. Oh, well, I had I'd been working two years to get a body of work, you know? Because I wanted to do the best shows west of the Rockies. I was going to apply to the best shows. I was going to go do a show that weekend. But prior to that, I had to set up my booth because I had a 20 by 10 at that show that I was going to. So I had set up my panels in the yard and hung all my work because I thought, man, I don't want to spend the whole weekend rearranging stuff. I want to. It was really important to me that. Just like as I work, I want balance. When I hang a show, it's really important to me how each piece reads next to each piece. So it was fortunate because I got to, um, I invited people over. We had a party. We didn't, our neighbors had a party. And after the party, I invited all my friends who were at the party. Well, come over. There's a mini art show at my place, you know, because it was all set up. So people had never seen my work before, you know, or had only seen little bits and pieces, got to see this new body of work. Well, so when the fire was came, Richard called me and said, well, what do you want me to do with your art? I'm going to, I'm, he said, I'm going to take everything down and put it in the shop. And I said, okay. So there it was. Fuck George, I don't know. It all got burnt up.
everything got burnt up. Everything, 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 everything. I don't know what to say about it. Fuck. Do you ever get where you're like, You don't want to be the victim anymore. You know, like, it's been almost seven months. And you just want to, like, well, it can't be the same as it was before, obviously. But you just don't want to be identified by it anymore. I realize my art now, it's more, more emotion because I feel so more emotional. So it's kind of like getting thrown from the horse, you know, get back up, paint, butte fire. My sister-in-law <laughs> in Milwaukee <laughs> called it the butt fire. <laughs> I'm like, Sir, I'm like, come on, they don't know how to pronounce butte <laughs> in Wisconsin. <laughs> she goes, I always thought it was really strange that it was the butt fire. I'm like, no, 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 it's the butte fire, come on. And now, I think my, um, my vision to everything that's good around me has widened. Because I try not to have a conscious thought, right? Or a, a way to start. Even though I don't like the fact that I don't, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. It's real risky, because I keep thinking, what if nothing happens? What if nothing happens? Risk and vulnerability. Risk being vulnerable. Risk not knowing the outcome. Risk people not understanding. Risk condemnation or, you know, non-acceptance, right? What is it, you know? Risk people hating it. Risk. Just risk. gotta be willing to make a fool of yourself. You, know, you gotta be willing. That's the risk. 